we are back at Red Wing, baby, and my man Pete, he wants to talk, but he can't talk right now. I'm talking, I'm doing the intro. He's driving the boat, and we are back at Everts. He's messing up my audio like he always does with everything. It's driving me crazy, but we're in his boat this video, which means that we, well, and anything could happen is what it means. I'm gonna open her up there. He's open opening up. it up. We put the boat in, the Suzuki started. A nice guy gave us some live bait, and we're ready to rock. Let's do it, buddy. I'm gonna go, um, Minna. Yeah, or you might want to go plastic until we see what's going. Okay. Or the plastic, buddy. You don't have to twist my arm. There you go, buddy. Nice. Dead stick up Pete down. has hooked up. Nice, buddy. It's a that, nice sauger. Get that third ride going, huh? Nice one. Yeah, I've been eating well out here. I think it's just the fishermen that are feeding me. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. Texting my wife. Nice rod sitting on the seat. All right, well, Pete has broken the seal. First uh, fish in the boat, and it's a sauger. Yeah, because Major League Fishing is, you know, sponsored by Toyota. Uh -huh. There's one. That's a good one, too, dude. Just letting, well, I don't know. Sorry, I just got so excited with the... I know your deal. How he hit. Yeah, yeah, I'm Mr. Over-exaggerating everything. Well, look at that. Here. Yeah, look at that. Greg ain't getting skunked. And that, did you see, Pete, that it was actually in the mouth? Was it this time? It was in the mouth, not not there. I think that's your first one ever. Oh god. Weren't you using live bait? Saugers are on fire. No, that was not live bait. That was on a uh what was it on? It was on plastic. Nice. We got one on the minnow, one on the plastic. Yep, one on the minnow, one on the plastic. Free the fire. Alright. Yeah, let me show you what I'm using here. Fast right man. there half ounce jig and uh power bait uh right? yeah man i love me some power bait curly bones three inch rib worm baby 12 pounder today let's do it i can't believe you're giving away all your secrets that's what i do see this is a surge right there you go buddy oh. took your took your minna And took his minna and his pride. Pete's over there using uh, live bait. I'm over here soft plasticking it up. Who will win? So far, what are we equal? Is even up? We should probably be measuring these fish just so we have contact. I brought my scale, just so you know. Did you? Yeah, it's right there. Is it a delier? No, it's uh, far more advanced than that. So the first thing you do with a delier is you stretch out that spring. Exactly. Bigger AMH batteries that have like, they're like three ounces. Oh, there's one. Yeah. yeah. Little? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Pete. There. Now, this, wow, I don't. I've not seen that. Is this because we're fishing near a nuclear reactor? We were just talking radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I am so glad you bit, but you have scoliosis. Is that that a is sauger? one, yeah. that's a sauger with a real severe case of spina bifida. No, I don't know what that is. Look at that, though. That's actually, he's proud. Isn't that crazy? I think that's an evolutionary advantage. You think so? Yeah. You think that makes him, um, I think the current just did that to him. That's kind of how the current is around here. It, it, when you're born here, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's release this poor dude. 
No, no, Pete. I want to. I want to live to 50, man. See you, buddy. That was weird. I don't know really what to say. I've never caught a fish that deformed before, I don't think. And Pete and I we were just talking about how we were talking about deformed fish. About what the heck were we talking about? Just what just, an hour ago? Yeah. About you fishing next to a radio. Oh yeah, yeah. So upstream, I fished for smallmouth near a nuclear reactor. There's a nuclear reactor right there. Where there was a leak. Where there was actually a, a little bit of a leak. Let's not, you know, let's not exaggerate it too much. But yeah, so we're talking about there. There's an acceptable amount of radiation that I guess you can you can leak out, and so maybe they do that here. All right. Well, what I am doing right now is uh, I don't know if they still do this up here in Red Wing, but back in the day, it was all you know the pro guys. It was all this two rods. You can have two rods up here. And it, it, it was doing this, you know, fishing two rods. You kind of have to be ambidextrous. I'm going to give it a shot. But since you can fish two rods, it's kind of stupid not to. That's what I'm going to do. Not not any rods in a rod holder. I'm going to be holding both of them. So here we go. There's baby seagulls with it. There's, There's one. Again. That's a good one, dude. I, I'd say it's a good one. Just ignore everything I say. That is a better one, dude. That, that is a netter. Actually, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yes. God, that's a nice one. Look at that dude. They all have big old bellies on them. Look at that dude. That's a nice sauger, buddy. See? I'm a pro now, man. I'm using two rods. It's like I've been doing this all my life, brother. I feel like a walleye pro or a sauger pro. That's a beautiful sauger. Get that fin in the sun. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. If you shake them, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's trick on that. Gotta get the left. Come on. Oh, I do that. I kind of, I tickle them a little bit. Right. That's the yeah. Stickle. That's a nice sauger. I went to, I, I changed it up. He's thick too. Like, all right, he wants to go back in. There you go, buddy. Um, yeah, I switched up on this other rod. Guy was talking earlier. Going pro style. Was that plastic? Yeah, That's so two, plastic. This is two plastics in a row. This is uh, the bonefish. It's a paddle tail, and it is uh, three and a quarter inch citrus punch. Is what I caught that nice guy on. Good one. Oh my gosh. We're we're, we're we are loading the boat. It's the witching hour. I haven't don't even have time to put the other. Pete is, uh... That wasn't on the bottom of the mouth. Nice one, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, that was way bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I'm not trying to brag, but I think I have the biggest so far. Okay, fine. We, have, we are into the sauger mother load right now. And I was pondering switching to plastics, and now you just ate my, <laughs> you just ate my big shot. Almost like you're, it was like a, you are passing the football to me. <laughs> he is a football. Nice, old, buddy. Pete, still, you're still doing live bait? Uh, still doing live bait. Doing live bait. Half ounce jig? Um, I think I got an ounce on there. Nice, buddy. Can we get a... Sorry, I'm going to take a picture. Here. Yeah. It's going to get a picture for the socials. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And the release. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've actually done this good out here. <laughs> Just because I haven't. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Incoming. Jeez, that's a fanny. Should I get the net? Um, get the net, Pete. Get the net. Wait a minute. We don't have a net. Hey, uh, we yeah. don't need a net. That's why we're catching them as good as we are. I forgot the net. I mean, yeah, Pete forgot the net, but it's okay because... As long as we catch Sauger, it's okay. It's, look at him. They, they are so good at displaying their I know. dorsal. They're very proud fish. The best way to describe... A sauger is that it's a proud fish. Okay? Look at that. And now to the release. Here we go. Look at that. And brilliant setting sun. What Two more rods. could you ask for? No net. You didn't see it? There's kind of a like a, there's <laughs> right there. Like we are only fishing in like eight feet of water here. 
which is kind of amazing because I always thought like you had to fish deeper this time of year, but no. I, I thought like it was all about fishing the channel break, but no, they're up here, eight feet of water, at least the stoggers are. As the sun gets lower, that's when the 12 pound walleye show up, right Pete? There you go, buddy. There's a big fish. That's a big fish, dude. Oh, it's a pike. No net. No net. It's a pike, buddy. Yeah. Golly, oh. that was a good one. Dude. It almost looked like a musky. It did. He wasn't massive. I but think he that was, was a. It looked musky. It looked definitely looked muskyish. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, he didn't have any spots. You know, he just looked kind of cold. Huh. Wow, that was cool. Um, yeah, I was like, this is a sizable fish. But yeah, it's either a pike or a muskie there. Getting lower, don't have that much time left, but this is the witching hour. I'm excited. You excited, Pete? I'm excited, Greg. Yeah, we're excited. I don't sound excited because I'm old, so it's hard to get excited. Yeah, we're both getting older, but we're still relatively excited. Sometimes when I get excited, I pee a little bit, so I don't get excited. I'm not sure if you picked that up. It's probably for the best. Here you go, buddy. Jesus. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's a walleye? It is, I think. No, that's a sauger. Jeez, that's a big sauger. Yeah, that's a chunky. Nice one, dude. Get back in there. And you're live baiting it still? I still got the live bait while I'm doing both. Doing live bait, you got the dead rod with plastic, right? Ooh, yeah. do I get a fish on that other one? Where? Other behind me? No. Nothing? That okay. Was my route following oh, gotcha. But I nice, didn't want to get back in there and fish. I'm Go for it. Fish. Well, yeah, just do it. Right. We're in the witching hour, baby. Well, you may be able to determine that um, the light is leaving us, so we're going to wrap up this video. Boy, did you have fun? Hmm? Of course, he's had fun, man. I've had a blast. This is the best day I've had out on the river in a while. I feel like we're finally, like, at least I am speaking for myself, like, feeling like I'm finally kind of getting this, you know? Just in time before 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time before 2024. So thanks for watching, and um, we're going to be out here as long as we can do this. I mean, I, this weather is amazing. Maybe we can do this all the way through January. Let's do it. I'm so. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That had a lot of trouble apparently. I know exactly how I I think it's a rock. I think I should be able to. The problem is this. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Good one. We ain't done yet, y'all. We ain't done yet. And he's got no net. And Nice, buddy. I don't know how much light we got, but we might have enough. Nice one, dude. Is that the biggest? That's a sauger. That's maybe the biggest one of the day. Maybe. I think I caught the biggest one of the day. What are you talking about? Yeah, I think so. I gotta get back in there. Of course. Beautiful though, buddy. Nice job, man. We are having fun. Uh, this we ain't done yet, man. We did a wrap up, but we're still catching fish, man. Pete is a um, amateur photographer. Here, one of the best I've ever seen, actually. Least he's being so cooperative. And he didn't even need a net, Pete. You are such a pro. He's like, thank you for not putting me in your net. I'll be willing to take pictures. All right, we're probably officially done now with the video. Now.